Winston. Some of the reinforcements might just be a bit easier to keep hold of. So, obviously, we'll have to talk about the map, Clubhouse. I mean, it's Clubhouse. Both these teams are very familiar with it. Both these teams are comfortable playing Clubhouse. We knocked over and take some gunfights. I say that, though. I was thinking about Dirt. Alamance actually dropped in towards the triple wall of Church, and that will eliminate the mirror window, and he's in a position where he can just walk into sight. Just really getting up in the faces, and we're seeing the power of oh, the Monty no. there. But look at that. Resets Ness. Managed to pick up two. Up. And they are holding firm here, Team Liquid. Onto the base. And then he needs somebody challenging around him. This is good from Alamo. He's managed to get himself right on into shower there. And that's going to make it tough. There is an opportunity for G2 to push into Jim. Is Alamo going to go for it? He knows the positioning, but no! My, it sits him down! Oh dear, oh dear, you've lost the Monty, you've lost that operator just push in and clear away all those different angles and another kill comes in favour of Liquid. Doki off the board and G2 now Tim, they've stalled out, they've burned the clutch. Maya 4 and 0 as well, of course the newest player on the roster coming in this year and we've spoken about those changes, this one seems to be, you know, could it be heading towards a, a match made in heaven, Maya with a fantastic start against G2 here and just looks to continue, it's going to be reset challenging out onto the breach for the time being, he knows the push is coming but he can't win the fight, Palu however manages to pick up Virtue at the same time, gets himself a second and that's what we want to see demo when I said about Palu Lunesk about facilitating them. Anyway, even if they did open up that wall. But look, if you're bringing in the capital, you know you don't have an Azami to deal with. It will be Garage. That should be your go-to. It should be so easy to take. Maya has challenged onto the breach, and he has been eliminated. So already, Liquid giving away a kill. It really shouldn't happen. Another swing comes in. But Alamal, luckily, is at the door to stop that from happening. No, no, did get down in the process. But as long as they can cover it, it should be fine. Never mind what has happened to G2. Lagonis almost appears and picks up not only the player going for the revive, but also the player down. Never mind, Reset gets anyway a triple kill for Reset. Where does that came from? I was just wondering if Liquid were being a little bit too aggressive this round. Maya peak in the breach, Ness got onto catwalk stairs, both losing their lives, but then it what? was third time. Lucky, Reset pushes the aggression. No, that's it. I mean, he's just seen Palu there and pinged him out, but Palu doesn't expose himself too much to that window. He knows oh, somebody's dear. coming, and he picks up an opener onto Uno, but Benja is on the window, ready for the trade. Four versus four. Ness taken out on Catwalk, and that leaves Maya all alone. It was a matter of time. That's a really good top floor clearance from G2. It leaves them a minute. Resets really needed to pick somebody up on his way past there, but is unable to. Two versus four. G2 can start pressuring towards site now. Yeah, minute to go. So, I mean, good burn, you have to be said, from Liquid to burn away a lot of the clock, but two kills, um, or, or you're trading two kills off, or three kills even off for it as well. It's just not going to work. And yeah, Benja finds both of them just on the hash. You know, we saw this done by, by BDS absolutely beautifully. Um, I think it was Breed who picked up a triple as it went out. Oh! There you go. Easy as that. Oh! Resets with a big double on the Nitro. Uno manages to pick up the kill, but it doesn't matter. The damage is done as Ness manages to pick up Dorkin. Four versus two. Three versus two, though, as Uno continues to fight back. Still a lot of work to be done for G2 here, Demo. Oh, Virtue away from Uno. He's over and towards Cash right now, trying to fight his way through that. Hold that Paulu was trying to put up, but Paul's actually left him and allows Virtue just to walk in. Oh, yeah, barely missing out on the C4, the but no, his teammate goes down on the window. Virtue pop flash in, flashes himself, doesn't get the kill. No diffuser on hand, a minute to go. It's going to be very difficult for, for him. All Liquid need to do is fall back, play off the Valkyrie cameras that they have. Should be no issues for a veteran team like Liquid. Yeah, I mean, Liquid have got so much experience, like you say. They're not exactly out to win this situation. They're not going to overpeak this. There you go. Palu holding a power position from underneath. Man Bandit at the moment is currently Bandit tricking it. I mean, I don't know if, if they've even... No, they haven't even actually managed to get any of the uh, Bandits off. Oh, never mind. The middle one was left open, and that will allow them to get in there. But, oh, what a swing from Reset. Eliminates Alamar, but Doki walks down highway and finds two. Maya close in the wall has found another. And G2 are crumbling at the seams here, Tim. They didn't clear Nesk out of blue and they've paid the price for it as he picks up an important kill. Uno, he's going to drop that smoke. It's a little bit of a bait, I think. Just try and pull these liquid players in, but they're not going to be caught out by that. It would have been, been what, August he came in? 
you know, so it's been a good period of time this team has been together, and to see them still have issues with something we would call, oh, that happens during the first three months, it is a bit of a worry. G2, they've now kicked things off with a Rome game, and Benja! In terms of dealing with that mirror window, the Kali it can just be shot out a little bit easier. It's just a bit easier to deal with in general. Um, but as we stand, Palu manages to find a kill onto Doki. Three versus three, eight seconds. It's going to be a bloodbath. And here comes Benja, picks up one, can't find another. The kills are coming in and they're going to Meyer and Lagonis. Meyer, he's going to have to stick this plant. The clock is ticking down. It's down to zero. There's nothing left. Out goes the Nitro from Uno. It misses its mark. And and now Liquid have got a major advantage, Demo Uno. He takes a spray through the wall, not going to find his man. Going to be full white flashed, it just wastes another five seconds. Liquid, they're just playing for time. Uno, the 1v2. See if he can win the first defense, but no, gets caught out by Maya before they would have liked, I'm sure, uh, and just difficulty over the last 12 months, two years, to really find that top-class form that we know they are capable of. But right now, they look phenomenal. Ness goes in, manages to pick up Virtue, and you just know Liquid are feeling the opportunity, but G2, they stand tall, Demo. They manage to find a kill apiece. Uno, Benja, Alamo, just really racking them up there, leaving oh. Nesk on his own, but he finds a double! He catches them! sat next to each other and all of a sudden demo with a minute left you look at this and you think if there's anybody in the world surely nesk is one of those players still gonna be tricky though tim i think g2 in good positions where they can support one another alamal reposition into a spy thought he was gonna get a kill from but he misses a shot and now nesk with five hp for the ace for the clutch for the map win penja can he do it? Can Ben just stop him? The problem that Nesk has got is that he doesn't have Diffuser in hand. He has no option but to try and take this gunfight. He's playing into a mirror window. This should be easy for Benja. He knows where he's going. He peeks around the corner. It was so close for Nesk. Good progress here from Liquid. They've got plenty of time. The problem that they don't have at the minute is a kill. And Doki, oh. he's going to find himself a huge double. It's Palu. It's Nesk. He can go for this flank now. It just depends if Liquid have any information. Alamar's actually inside a kitchen. Doki a third. Like I said, he wants four and five. And Alamar's going to be able to stop that from happening. And a will. I mean, the drone work there from Liquid was, was shoddy. How is he allowed to be in kitchen for that long? I don't think Liquid knew where the impact EMP hits. He's hitting his battery down. And it's absolutely brilliant from him. As you say, G2 really should be able to hold on to this. They've done it brilliantly. The Candelas don't really matter. Uno can just keep that shield in front of him. Virtue, Doki, pick up a kill apiece, and G2 have looked great here in round 10. Maya Ness managed to get something, but it's probably going to be too little too late. They take down the clash. Surely not, Maya. He's going looking for kills. The diffuser's down. The final kill is for Alamo. A weak point for G2, but they weren't really holding. So maybe that's why they're bringing in Ella, for example. Alamo just can't quite catch the sleeve of Nesk there to know that he's on the rappel. He does. He must have seen him, though. Manages to pick up the kill. Whether Nesk moved or not, I'm not sure. But that was the opener. Resets manages to pick up Ender in a trade. But once again, G2 have got themselves a good advantage in the early and they know exactly where he is and one player is going to be downstairs below him right now but Uno isn't moving his feet he's just trying to stay alive that's all he can do he gets one kill oh misses out on a second yeah, and a third but still he gets his kill Tim that is the key thing it is when G2 have got the man advantage as well because they can just take that trade game all day long and they win the round it's three versus two at the minute all Uno needs is to take one of them out and he takes the thermite so yes they've done the breaching but if they wanted any further options they are are now gone. They've also lost the smoke cover as well because those have gone along with the thermite. So it's getting tough. Resets manages to pick up Virtue though. Two oh. versus one as the trade is there from Doki. He's looking for more, but he's going to be taken down. It's Paul! Oh. Paul manages to find the final kill! It's a 1v2 clutch! We're not going to let you play your game. Like you've said, G2 play bank a lot. They're very good at it, but that does leave Liquid with a lot of intel, a lot of odds to be able to watch to plan for this. Now from G2. 
I like that from Venture. Straight onto the drone. Doesn't want to be seen before he shoots it out. Doesn't want to give his position away. Maya does manage to pick up Doki with an aid. That's a does manage to get one back onto Nesk. So G2 still level here and Benja hasn't been dealt with on the top floor. He's still going. He picks up resets and he's looking for more. He is. He hasn't been dealt with and Liquid. They've already lost two players on the basement. We mentioned again, basement bomb sites. You want to try and keep as many players as you can alive for it. Is Benja going to get another one though? Do they know that he just tapped in towards the corner? No, they don't. And Maya loses his life. Underneath those bullets, he's going to stick around for the fight, but maybe he shouldn't have done. Lagonis picks up the kill, supported by Parlu. Play from Parlu just forces Virtue back one way or another, whatever it was, whatever the reasoning. But with 25 seconds left to go, honestly, I think it was the better move for G2. They're now in a position where it's very difficult. Virtue gets his kill. There you go. Final two come in. Alamo picks it up. Sorry, it was Uno to pick up the shot from the front. You're not going to get flanked. You don't have to worry about dealing with a right-sided flank or a left-sided flank. Everything's going to come in front of you. And he can just walk up and then he can rotate in towards Banana and again, just keep looking forward and you have such good success. Virtue and Doki managed to pick up one apiece and G2 are certainly looking like a much better side here on Bank than they did on Clubhouse. Staring down the barrel of a flawless round here. It's up to Maya to try and stop that, but he can't that operator and it's just so easy you know you're never putting yourself at risk and you're feeding all of that information oh dear oh dear maya a little bit too early you know finally we see the uh the demos come in the track and but Oh my, just hold on there for two seconds. Yeah, Ness managing to pick up that kill with that intel that was being fed in from resets, no doubt. And that leaves us now in a four versus four. Mira, the next one up. Benja is going to be targeted by those Deimos scans as well. And it just makes it so difficult for these players to play anywhere around. Wow. Take control of archives and tellers. And right now it's working for them. G2. You know, where do they go from here? Uno has been able to get a down because he himself has also been tracked. But again, just all of this pressure sweeping in now. They've actually got lobby and they've been able to move upstairs via that location. So, yeah, a lot of issues that they're causing just with this, this initial attack where they've wanted to try and stay away from the rumors. Make G2 come to you. Oh, Doki has been able to find the low man in sight. Now it is a 1v2. Look at the HP, though, from Lagonas. That is favorable for Doki. But... All it should be is just Lagonis plant nest cover. That, that's as simple as I can make it, Tim. Yeah, Lagonis was downed upstairs inside a stock. Ness went to collect him. Uh, they just need to, they don't have too much time to use is the problem. 20 seconds left to go, like you say. They oh. need to get in a position to plant dork. He just gives himself away. He's got to find the kill there. And a lot of the times we will see teams in the last couple of 10 seconds where things maybe don't work, they will just try and drop the hatch and get some kills. They drop the hatch, they don't just get the look to red. They have to then worry about every other angle, so it's very strong in that regard, just to catch them by surprise. Liquid are trying to move quickly here, but they just don't have the map control that they need. They've managed to get the mid floor, but they haven't got a server locked down. Oh. Doki almost gets caught out by another nade, but he manages to escape this time. Alamo managing to find Maya and Liquid are just having to play into difficult positions, and as much as they've taken taken a reasonable amount of control. They haven't taken the key areas that they needed. Palu manages to find Uno, but the trade is there immediately. Doki looks for his man, but no, it's Alamo to close it out. And that's going to be a window ready to challenge into it. The only issue, as I mentioned before, with the quad wall, if it's not opened up, then Doki can do this. You can't plant there, Lagonis. You have missed the step. Doki gives himself up, and oh no, Ben just swings as well. The wall was muted. They didn't even realize that they couldn't open up the quad wall either. And Liquid have been punished for it now. Ness knows that there's one potentially above, but I think as he heads up there, the G2 player moves back downstairs towards Sight. Nesk is just cautiously having a look across. Only two around on Sight, no, three. Um, yeah, so as I was uh, saying, one has just returned down those main stairs. But how much time is that going to burn? There's only 50 seconds left to go. How long is it going to take Ness to realise there's nobody else on the top floor? He's gone to the hatch. He's been cut down. Parlu is left all alone. Alamo manages to find the long kill. And they have the buck, so losing the ram isn't uh, as big of an issue as what you would probably think it would be, because you do have that secondary soft destruction, and Maya's just going to drop straight in towards open area, but oh, two kills from Lagones, takes out Virtue and Benja, Alamo's also gone, and Unawal by himself, 
He gets the down on the nest, but still two more to find. Lagonis has the diffuser. Keep in mind, so that death isn't going to do much for him. Lagonis is going to get the plant, but a tap from Uno out of nowhere. He's going to switch to the Echo Drone, but it's not enough time. Lagonis has got the diffuser planted, but again, Uno still has plenty of time to him. He can rotate this Echo Cam into a position where his teammate can use that for information, but the HP, both of them are dead to each other's guns. This is absolutely unreal. What a 1v1 finish that we're going to see here to round six. Lagorn is just holding his angle. No! Knows who knows coming, but Uno finds the angle. One versus three. And it all started with that down onto Nesk and a beautiful one tap into open area. And Uno, he rescues round six. There is a way to do it where you don't get hit at all by any projectiles, but you always do have to be extremely careful. And yeah, I think Virtue's done a great job at that. You can see Maya is fishing for it, but no, nope, nothing comes off and he gets punished from it. And that is just because Virtue probably Virtue drops down into server. They know that Paul Wu's playing here. He goes to the shotgun. He's in a tricky, oh, no tricky idea. position, both oh. sides of him. And this is what I was talking about when we saw Bank earlier. Get down, get both sides, and there is nothing that the blue player, the blue says player can do. Paul Wu gonna be cut down five versus three. Great start from G2. We take out blue now. 20 seconds on the clock, it's not a lot of time, but you do have the man advantage along with the full utility uses of the Capital flashes as well. In goes the smokes, in goes the flames, in goes the players of G2 as they need to try and get the plant down. And C4 will stop the fight from happening. And kills come back now for Liquid, a two versus two. Virtue though on the backstab takes out Nesk. No, not Nesk, he's the only one left as those resets who gets eliminated. And now Nesk has to try and clutch up, but he can't do it right time and either doing it when you don't have to get the win or being able to get the win even on that bad day just it's don't about how you deal with it don't have a bad day on the grand final the sunday alamao Alam oh, oh hello my word. now he makes up for it what a double kill oh my word don't have even seen that i nearly just took out i nearly just took out tim with the right hand as i flew it back sorry tim on my left side i can't oh, dodge you from that's that true. you can't see me in my left <laughs> Out of nowhere, Devil's hand just slapped my headset off my head. Nesk, he gets <laughs> back there onto Marble Stairs, but he can't take down Doki. It looks like it's oh. over, Demo. It's going to be flawless. It's almost flawless on the scoreboard. 6-1 turns into 7-1, and G2 lock it out. On the basement defense, should never be opened. Should never, should never be hoping if that operator is gone. Uh, Cade also comes in as I suppose a bit of a band to try and help that. But look, Bandit can still run up with an ease of access for Ness to try and rotate around and hold the castle challenge on to the vertical angles. And that's only going to go one way. Start softening up the side. Harlow's getting aggressive here, but there's a man just around the corner from him. Flash goes out, but it doesn't act quick enough. Dorky moves just that little bit too soon. The, the flash doesn't detonate. Parlu gets the kill, resets, picks up Uno, and all of a sudden, Demo, what was a five versus three becomes a three versus three. This is scary. Very, very scary right now. Paulo has the shotgun primed and ready. Two. Flashes remain for Alamau. A smoke will also go out from Paulu just to try and delay them. But what's everyone else in G2 doing? We know where Alamau is. How has no one else from G2 really made any progress towards the bombs? Like, sure, they've got all of the vertical angles opened up, but you haven't really got the kills to back it up. And Paulu appears again at the right place at the right time. Oh, G2. A 3v5 is slipping through the fingers. A miss and just kind of sums up the round. In its own, another kill happens for Liquid again. Bend you down, and what has happened for G2? Just forcing everyone out. But one thing I see is that they've actually reinforced. See that wall right beside Ness to the left? That's reinforced, so it means Alamad can just walk in with very little issues. However, a flank has come in from Garage. How has a flank come in towards Garage? Alamad with a pistol again goes down. G2 looks so easy for them, but again, out of nowhere, Liquid have pulled it back. We've already seen Uno manage to pull off a 1v3 once today. The question is, can he do it again? And I'm going to use that word again, unforgivable. If he manages to do this, Liquid have got to be asking serious questions. They know where he's coming from, and they're going to have absolutely none of it. You can get, but there also isn't really any room for two players. It's just one guy no, can sit one. in there. Yeah. And that's where your Blitz can do a lot of work. There's going to be Virtue in first. On the back of the Candela finds one, but no, can't find the second. And it's only down to the Blitz, who also gets eliminated. Everyone else from G2.
Careful pressure needs to be applied. Uno jumps in after seeing that that door is going to be castled off. He misses the default cam though of a few shots. But again, yeah, look where Alamau is, you would expect. He's just going to try and walk into him. Five versus four then as Virtue manages to pick up Nesk. Alamo now holding the long angle. G2 have the there advantage here. They need to use it this time. As you say, in comes the door could be called. That prevents that use of the Valkyrie cams, of the Echo drones, of everything whilst those calls are ended or while she wait for the time to tick by. Utility is pouring on in here. G2 haven't been able to find another kill yet. 50 seconds left to go. And as I say that, Uno manages to pick up Maya and it's looking good for G2 here. But uh -oh. once again, in liquid Attack fight back Lagonis resets bring it back to a three versus three 45 seconds left to go Paulu looking for the flank in towards Gary Juno has found a big kill on the resets but Lagonis still above causing so many issues Paulu with the swing around nobody's covering him Virtue caught in the open a quick prune from Paulu keeps himself alive and Lagonis can hold from above he has all those vertical angles now working against G2 Virtue knows exactly where he is but the quick peek up Alamau on the shield again is able to take much out better, the mirror window better. and Benj is there using the information. So one thing that they struggle with, not just on Clubhouse, but obviously in Nighthaven as well from what we've seen. I mean, still, Ness has been able to get kills, but again, the walls open, it's pushed them out. What they need is they need the pressure coming in through Fish. I cannot exaggerate how important it is that you have another avenue of pressure coming in. A great swing from Doki again, but still, kills are being traded back and forth from Liquid. They're not just going to let G2 get away with everything. And the problem is his numbers dwindle, and one of them is Monte. It becomes an issue garage. because he doesn't have the same gun power. He does manage to pick up Maya, though. Two versus one as resets onto Uno, and this is now very difficult for Alamo to do anything. He's fighting with a pistol only. Paulo is down. It's 1v1. Alamo is going to have to make a move. Oh, he's going to go for the defuse instead. There's no way Paulo's going to be revived. He gets off the plan as well. Pulls out the pistol, does he? The shield out as well. Oh, Alamo, you are dancing with fire. He's got a ping. They've got information. He will plant right in front of the breach. Gets off. No! And he gets the pistol kill. Oh, my God. Ryan, that has been the problem. Liquid being able to fight in, so oh! need to get the entry and cement it. Palu picks up Doki, but Uno is there for the trade down and Pillory is taking the space extremely fast along with Virtue. They're going to go for a different approach. They're going to try and hit the site as quick as they can and they start to line up. Alamo finds one, Virtue finds the other. What a double push from those two. G2 really finding their feet when it mattered most. When they needed it, they managed to secure their final. G2. Yeah, it's well played from G2. Um, good setup, like you said. Lagon is going to go in and deal with the other mirror window. Looking out into connector. Maya manages to deal with Benja. Picks nitro. up the open and Nitro goes out. Not going to find anybody. Just playing in behind that shield here, Virtue, but he's going to be meeting face-to-face -face with another shield. It's going to be the Monty of Lagonis right up there, just pushing on to Electrical Door. Virtue taking damage. It's getting difficult for G2. They're trying to play inside a pressure cooker here, Demo. Oh, Uno flashed out. Still alive, though, and the Monty hasn't really moved into the site, probably because he's been smoked out, and also the Clash is now moving in towards Electrical, trying to hold that down. The wall will be opened up, and Uno now has to play in that kind of safety corner, but the floor below him is entirely open. As long as Liquid can just play with this man advantage and rotate somebody over for a backstab, they should be able to win this. But again, that clash is just delaying that Monty. Here comes the backstab coming in for a fish. Virtue's gonna try and hold it. He will be flashed out, but it somehow gets the kill. Doki with one as well onto the clash. Reset pulls out the pistol, but to no avail. But Liquid trying again on the attack. They're moving really confidently, actually. They've got themselves into the top oh, four. Really beautiful. Palu oh. is going to be cut down by Uno. Oh, oh, oh. Has a little bit of support up there as well. And again, it's good from G2, just doubling up. But Ness, he's there with one of his own. On to Benja, 4v4. But Alamo has the trade, 4v3. G2 keep themselves in the advantage. Tough fight if it comes to it at the end. There is potential where Liquid move in and somebody just gets banged two or three kills really really quickly but that's important alamo cuts down resets maya lagonis lagonis of course on the monty is only really half a gun he's only got the pistol to work with maya trying to get something going but in a 1v4 it's not going to be possible as virtue finds the trade 
spot. Our G2 gonna be ready for it. In it goes. They know there's only one player inside. It is gonna be the Debarro, but he has to see four. Will go out. Is that enough? Yes, it is. It denies. Lagoon is getting the plant out, but a great refrag though for Ness, and he will start going for the plant. Where's the reaction from G2? Impact goes in from Doki. He knows where he is, but he looks the wrong way. There's a player outside him, and Garage Alamo is C4, but now it's a 1v3 for Alamo. Then he has to try and clutch up into the 1v2. Now, Diffuser is cold on the ground, but 45 seconds. Can Liquid get this over the line? This could be an absolutely huge moment for Alamo here. He's managed to get himself into a position, but no! Paulu is watching! that knock push in through there this time decides you know what i'm just going straight on the ash but virtue manages to pick up resets next he's there ready for the trade but virtue he's got himself away parlu however picks up dorky manages to find his man Ness with a huge double and that could be the key demo that could unlock things for liquid as lagonis manages to find virtue it's all up to uno underneath no he's got no c4 there's nothing he can do Lagonis, here's the man underneath. It's enough to get him off the plant, but all he does is relocate, and he's gonna stick it this time. Good old. Had a clutch already in towards Bank, but these are very different circumstances. The Ying is just letting her rip. No access for Uno today. He's gonna have to try and go for it sooner or later, or else they might come to him, and they do. The Liquid! to get the win they're gonna give liquid absolutely nothing for free benja missing his opportunity on the oh. drone and maya is gonna pick up alamo and that could be liquid moving themselves one step closer to continuing here in the upper bracket next manages to find uno but Toki is there for the trade c4 goes out not gonna find it smart benja continues fighting oh. sees the bug but can't quite catch the man oh they just left him they've dropped the hatch they've went against him but no it's gonna work out for benja he he gets both of them. How has he got both of them? G2 have flipped it on its head. With the default cam up, they know where he's coming from. Yeah, he has flashes which he can maybe try and use, but now he's trapped. He's just stuck in this corner. They're just going to start firing bullets. Eventually, they'll get him unless they give him picks like that. 45 seconds. Bear in mind, no diffuser. And there we have it. The long angle from Benja. What they're going to go for. Again, it's mostly the same lineup. However, I think they've gotten the mute, probably because the drones have just been rampant. Oh my God, what a kill! Doki gets shot at from below, and he just says, "To execute, they're gonna push up backwards." There's here. They're looking to get aggressive. Lagonis is going first. They need to make sure they're getting these kills at the top. Good play to try and scare away the defenders, but he didn't get any kills from it, and the smoke can just stop it. Virtue came up behind them. Virtue flanked the flankers for Liquid. Doki trying to push it as well, using the freeze. Oh, what a pick. Doki on the three of them in the round. Tim, I think we're going there. We're going to the place that you know and love as Reset's going to get ganged up by all of them. Hang on a minute. Two kills coming. The favor of Reset. Still three more to find, but G2 are in. Positions where they can play off each other. Jumps outside, rotates around, resets, has to go up against this crossfire. Uno and Benji post each other. Benji gives away. But there we have it, Tim. Where are we going? How this one plays out. There could be an opportunity for G2. Look at the lineup from G2. It just screams we're going to oppress the living daylight out of anyone who could be just sat on those cargo stairs. Maya's went for a jump out. He's taken out the IQ, but very swiftly has been traded onto. So I would He's just playing it so well. He's, now he can go for the flank. Now he can go for, for the aggressive play. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's looking to step up and he finds his man. Takes down Doki three versus though, two though as Benja has managed to get down onto that basement level. Lagonis comes around. It's going to be up to him. He can't find it. And G2, they managed to take the first attack. You don't want to give G2 anything for free. Nitro comes out. That could be a big moment. Capcan down as Maya manages to find the kill onto Benja. We know he's had some big moments, but Doki is there with one of his own onto resets. However, oh. he's going to stray into the path of Paolo. Nesk manages to pick up Uno. He's alive. Get one of them sent down there. Get one of them to check out where the remaining two players are. Almost swinging into the hatch. Virtue almost had him, and he will be just tiptoeing around. But Maya is there to stop it and now Alamal Brazil versus Brazil Alamal brings one with him but no more than that liquid pushes all the way to round 
He has got in so aggressively. Right. Here comes the push through electrical. Dorky looking to go in. Manages to find his man. It's Alamai with the kill. Dorky taken down. Three versus three. And somehow Liquid fight back. Two versus two. And a final twist in a game full of twists. Finds us in a one versus one. It's Alamai versus Lagonis. It is a shield fronting up to the bandit. Alamo, we've already seen him in this position and he won it out last time. This time, oh! he takes the damage and Lagones will hit the Nitro. The Seas Liquid win what has been an unbelievably hard fight.